Hey, what's up everybody? It's Albie, and today we're going to be talking about the new ban list that came out for January 9th, 2017. Uh, today, five cards were banned over two formats, and we're going to be talking about uh, which cards were banned and why they were banned, and my opinions on um, why they were, or my opinions on um, whether or not they should have been banned. There's a lot of cards here that I don't think should have been banned, or something else should have been banned in replace of them. So uh, let's go ahead and just start with it. So um, three cards were banned today in Standard, and two cards were banned today in Modern. We're going to go with the Modern cards first, just because I have stronger opinions about the ones in Standard. Um, so in Modern, Gataxian Probe and Golgari Grave Troll were banned. Um, I don't really agree with Golgari Grave Troll. I thought Prized Amalgam probably should have been banned instead. They said that their reasoning was... Um, that Dredge itself, the mechanic, was more of the problem than Prize Amalgam was, but Dredge still has Life from the Loam and Stinkweed Imp, so I don't exactly like the choice of Golgari Grave Troll there. Um, and then Gitaxian Probe, it kind of makes sense. It went into, like, the Kiln Fiend decks, it went into Infect, um, and their reasoning was um, very very good for it. They said in the very first sense of why it was banned, Gitaxian Probe increased the number of third turn kills in a few ways, but particularly by giving perfect information and a card to the decks that often have to make strategic decisions about going all in. So you're talking about like the Kiln Fiend decks, in fact, um, just decks that uh, play out like all their cards and just try to win in one turn instead of progressively doing damage across multiple number of turns. So I do understand that reasoning, and I even said it on Twitter. I said that if any card was going to be banned, it was probably going to be Gitaxian Probe. Um, I wasn't exactly expecting Golgari Grave Troll. Like I said, I would have gone with Prized Amalgam, and I certainly was not expecting any standard bannings. But here we are. Also, a lot of people were talking about banning Sahili Rai and Felidar Guardian, or whatever that uh, infinite combo cat's name is. To me, that just sounds stupid. I think what Wizards basically did was they printed it as um, a way for people to play Splinter Twin in Modern without them actually unbanning Splinter Twin again. This one, you have to do it on your turn. You can't just go, like, instant speed, deceiver, exarch, end a turn, and then just out of nowhere... Um, here, the Sahili Rai has to be on the board for at least a turn uh, before, you know, they go off, unless they have seven mana, but uh, that's kind of unlikely that the games will go that long. Maybe it will, who knows? We have yet to actually play with the card, so I think that's another big reason on why there was no bannings done with that. But anyway, in Standard, we got three bannings, Smuggler's Copter, Emrakul the Promised End, and Reflector Mage. I disagree with all three of these bannings. A lot of you guys might not disagree with them. I'm actually really interested to hear what your uh, comments about this whole um, banning situation is down below in the comment section. I want to know all of your opinions. Um, but personally, I think Reflector Mage was fine in the blue-white flash deck. If you were going to take anything out of the blue-white flash deck, it should have been something like Gideon, Avacyn, or Spell Queller. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. I think Reflector Mage was perfectly fine in the blue-white flash deck. And um, I feel like if they were going to ban Reflector Mage, they should have done it back when Collected Company was still a card. Um, now that Banned Company isn't a thing, Reflector Mage really only sees play in one deck, and it, it shouldn't have been banned. Next card is Smuggler's Copter. Smuggler's Copter... I think was perfectly fine. I had no problems with Smuggler's Copter. Smuggler's Copter died to every single instant speed removal spell in the format. If you didn't want to run instant speed removal, I feel personally that's, like, your own deck's fault. Like, there should be, always be ways to kill smaller creatures like, you know, 3-3s. Three um, we had Fatal Push, Grasp of Darkness, Murder, Stasis Snare, Harness Lightning... Um, the list goes on and on and on that there's just so many ways that you could have taken care of Smuggler's Copter, but um, apparently they felt it needed to be banned. I feel like that's another wrong decision, but um, whatever. And then we go on to Emrakul. This one I can understand a little bit, but I still feel like it should not have been banned. Emrakul is just a really good card. Some cards are going to be good cards. It it just happens. But I don't feel that Emrakul was so groundbreaking to the point where it needed to be banned. It was a good card late in the game when you were playing Green uh, Green Black Delirium. It was a good card to hit off Aetherworks Marvel, but other than that, it didn't really do anything. Honestly, 
I've I've had games where I've beaten Emrakuls. They play the Emrakul out. You stasis snare it right when it comes in. They take your next turn. Nothing happens. Like there's ways to answer it. Disallow is going to be in the format coming up soon. Summary dismissal is a way to take care of it. Um, so personally, I just feel like Emrakul probably shouldn't have been banned. Is it a very strong card? Yes, very very strong card, but not strong enough to the point where I believe that it should have been banned. Again, guys, these are just my opinions. I want to know your guys' opinions down below in the comment. Tell me um, what you guys think about these bans. Tell me what you think about my opinions of these bannings. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Get ready for the Aether Revolt pre-release coming out, uh, I think, Friday is when it starts? Saturday? Something like that. Anyway, it's coming up soon. Be sure to be ready for those. I can't wait. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, and peace.